You're late. The sky is getting temperamental. That's not the only thing, is it? Yeah, that harmonia nerd gets a little bit temperamental when he has too many games, sir. too little my time. Name is Shay, and this is my associate Hope. Uh, William Johnson told us to give you these. Ah. Thank you, but I'm afraid. I'm ah, a loot box and an official game yes, guidebook. Why? The army confiscated my lightning rods. They are essential to conducting the electricity. I need to vivify your box. Master Johnson would not want you to have to wait. Perhaps there is something you can do then. Soldiers have been hauling things away all day. Perhaps what is going on with his hair? Where they've taken my lightning rods so you could get them back. At your service, sir. Begin your investigation at the market near the docks. I will stay here and help with the preparations. I know that it does that kind of like blurriness to account for like things that it can't render perfectly. I went on the switch, but up that close, it shouldn't have had to do that, right? Why do I keep seeing an icon to the left of like a guard yes. looking for me? It's gone now. It briefly appeared there. But yeah, something I find interesting about Assassin's Creed games is how they still tell, like, the same outcome of history, but they tell completely different causes for it. Like this whole thing with Benjamin Franklin experimenting with lightning. He's doing it to help out with those Templars who we're impersonating right now. And, uh, Eagle Vision. Yeah, I've been using Eagle, Eagle Vision. My goodness. Well, I see Twitch Boy J Biggie redeeming absolutely nothing in the... Uh, Twitch chat, they're the only the best reward ever. Tail the soldier. Ah, yes, tailing mission's my favorite. She's just gonna, I don't know, fap his gun a little bit while he's while he's waiting. Okay, so now we can jump over to the other building. My goodness. But yeah, what about the ending of AC3? What about the ending of AC3? Oh, for like, t oh, stuff in the modern day doesn't count. <laughs> modern day stuff doesn't count. But stuff in the past will always be like, same outcomes, but very different causes. Oftentimes causes being like this whole Templar assassin plot or these pieces of Eden for them trying to do like cool wizard shiz. But yeah, <laughs> what is it good for? Absolutely nothing. <laughs> That's what the description of that freaking points redemption should be. I'm only now realizing. <laughs> That's like the perfect description of that points reward. Well, let's hop on over. Benjamin Franklin's guard. I keep well clear of that place. They say that man messes with lightning. Speaking of lightning, I reckon there's a storm. <laughs> oh, does he really not care? I noticed that that dude on the right wasn't a guard, so I was wondering what would happen if I take out, like, the actual dedicated guard. And, uh, why? Why is there a person there that's suspicious? Um, no. No. Okay, reduce this as the target. I'm working on it. I'm working on it here. <laughs> oh, random voice crack. Forgive the random puberty there. Okay, here we go. Mark you once again. There we go. We got some dudes that are suspicious. Yeah, they were having a conversation. I killed one of them mid-conversation and the other guy just didn't care. Funnily enough. Put those memes with the rest. We must stockpile all the- Uh-oh. Memes. Loot the rods. Oh, so now everything's like fair game then, huh? Does it have to be stealth? There's no optional objectives right now, is there? That yeah, doesn't seem like. So we can take out that dude that we were tailing. That's what we can do. Hi! Falcon punch! <laughs> okay. Yeah, let's go take these lightning rods. Sweet. Reach Benjamin Franklin. Is there any stuff that I want to collect while we're here? Nah, but I don't think we'll be able to do the tavern while we're, uh, well, we're in a story mission anyway, so I'll be getting this animus fragment when we get the tavern anyway, so there's no reason to go do it now. Like, I'll be in that area later anyway, so I guess there's nothing good for me to collect right now. Yep, let's hurry back to Franklin. Excuse me, friendos. The storm's getting pretty crazy. We're gonna want to use those lightning. Optional objectives do not swim. Okay. I will not swim then. Uh, there's a thing here. And an anime fragment with it. Sweet. So I can just take this, right? Sweet. We got one or two anime fragments here. Awesome. Without any swimming. Awesome. You love to see it. Over we go. There's pumpkins all over the place in this town. Like, this is a very pumpkin filled place. I'm definitely noticing, I must say. Hi, Benjamin. 
I got your kinky rods. Shay, thank goodness. Uh, quick, <laughs> me with the rods. Wouldn't it be best to have this like a little bit further away from the buildings? I don't know, just my professional opinion. <laughs> Maybe not have the lightning rods right next to the wooden hut. That's my opinion, at least. We're cracking open the loot box. Launching Skynet. It's a map. Where is that? Portugal. Lisbon, I'd stake my life on it. Make yourself scarce, Shay. The militia will be here any minute. I'm sure they will have questions. What about you? I'm a devoted housekeeper. Right. All right, well, there we go. It's a fake wood, can't catch fire. Wait, you not get, I didn't get a, I didn't even notice that optional objective. Well, that's our first one we didn't get 100% on. Gosh, darn it. Guess that means I'm coming back to it like, oh, there's no immediate cutscene. I don't have to turn on my stuff. Okay, well, I'll, <laughs> there are ones that I missed in main game AC4 as well. So like, we'll come back to it. Like, oh, let's collect stuff for now. Now we can collect things. Cool. Also, I just now noticed, like, freaking, when I have my knees up like that, I'm playing like that. Sometimes I'll do that when I'm streaming, I'll have my knees up and play like that. But when I'm wearing my pajamas like today, today was a pajama day. Like, after my freaking second COVID shot the other day. Like, I haven't really been getting any symptoms apart from sleepiness. But regardless, I've still just been taking it, taking it easy and, like, sleeping a whole bunch. So, <laughs> these have been pajama days. So like, even my shirt is like that, but you can't tell. It just looks like a black shirt anyway, past my hair and scarf and hoodie and stuff. Dang it, I didn't actually get your pelt. I need to not waste it. We had a whole discussion about this earlier this stream. Waste not. We cannot waste. I don't know why I started running without uh, doing that. Yeah, waste not. Do not waste. Okay, so let's see here. Yeah, let's keep on. Let's go around collecting things. So is there anything here that yeah, there is still something here that's locked behind uh progressing further. Probably after Shay has a change of heart. Most likely. I try to have all these playthroughs be spoiler free. And like not mention stuff coming up. But like at the same time, in my playlist of every AC game in order, I also have like before each next playthrough, I also have like a trailer of the game coming up that we're about to hop into. And the trailers for these games do show Shay as an assassin, and it's as an assassin, as a Templar, and it's implied at the very beginning of this game when he's doing his monologue, and he's like, "Once, once an assassin, but now betraying those that I once called brother." This is my story. So, like, it's mentioned already. So, mentioning the fact that he changes side, I think that's a fair game. I try to keep these playthroughs pretty spoiler free, but that, that fact, I think that one's fair game. It's been shown in trailers. It was implied at the very beginning with Shay's monologue. I think that one's fair game. Quite frankly. All right. Open the door. There are some nerds that need to be falcon punch in here. Ah, uh, let's talk. Oh, I spilled my smart water. No, it's time to fight. I don't know what's with these, uh water bottle companies that come up with names for their water and sell water bottles like that like smart water is a recent one nice camera angle game <laughs> i don't know why that guy just had an orgasm when i punched him but okay <laughs> but okay that <laughs> uh, was um that was something okay so this tavern's available now cool so we can recruit crew. So let's see about this get information. Now progress further until the barkeep can give you intelligence. And then you can play like checkers that probably is here. I know it could be chess. Could be checkers. And then what's this? Play? No, so this is a different, what is that one? I think I recognize, it. I don't remember what it's called. So I guess in bars you could do all kinds of different mini games. 
And then that's that one that I'm forgetting the name of. <laughs> this is the case. Thank goodness there's no like achievements or like collect-a-thon stuff with those games, so I don't have to do them technically. If you really want to do them, you can do them. Alright. Let's keep on collecting anime. I just realized this is that's what I could warrant for having like anime as a tag for this stream. I always like putting anime as a tag for my streams. And when people ask me about it when I'm playing a game that's clearly not anime, I'm just like, yes, X game is my favorite anime. <laughs> when it's like so different from that. But like this game, I can actually have an excuse. Look, we're collecting parts of anime. So I can actually have an excuse for like labeling this content as anime on Twitch. Is the case. So where are we going afterwards anyway? So I'll be able to fast travel over there. Yeah, we can just fast travel there after we get this chest. Pretty sweet. I gotta switch back to swords, though. Gotta switch back to my swords. So, uh, if you don't mind, I'm just going to sneak into here and do that. Now, to fast travel, I think I'm gonna need to be out of the restricted area. I believe. A compass. Not a golden one this time. Just a regular compass. Lame. Yeah, so let's fast travel over here. And continue with our story. So, the loot box showed us that Lisbon is the place of a thing. We electrified it and it showed us that we gotta go to Lisbon for a thing. Reduce the speed of your boat to gain maneuverability. I have been. I have been reducing the speed of my boat to gain... Oh, rope dart pouch one can be crafted! These must have been with some of those pelts that I've been getting. Let's see here. So... Where is it? Wait, did I go past it? There it is. Yeah, there we go. Rope dart pouch. Get some more rope darts. Sweet. Alright, so we already got all the collectibles here. Let's further the story to- What activity? What are you talking about, game? I actually have no idea what the game is talking about. Progress further in the story to unlock the activity of walking forward. Except this time it'd be when you're further in the story as opposed to now. Mmm. You get to unlock the ability of doing the exact same thing you're already doing. But, in a state where you're further in the story, hmm. Now, only for the low, low price of $9.99. Okay, hi, Franz. Hi, Franz, how's it going? Huh, just pull my way up there. And Kyrie Elison? Is that how that's pronounced? Lisbon is near as large as London or Paris. Are you sure you can find this one place? Sword clear as day, Hope. It's a convent, right close by the harbor. I might have visited the sisters once or twice. Given your present knowledge of the site, this duty falls upon you. You understand what must be done? Find the Precursor Temple and retrieve the Peace of Eden. Finally obtained a ship for crossing the ocean. Have no worries. I will keep the Morrigan safe in New York. Thank you. Liam and I will leave straight away. Liam is unavailable at present. Your crew and ship await. Be careful, Shay. Pieces of Eden are powerful relics. They are powerful relics. They let you do cool wizard shiz. Is it just going to put us at Lisbon? I believe that's what happens, right? Because it's not a place that you ever get to, like, visit again in the future of the game. It's just, like, a one-off thing for the story. So it probably just zips me over there, I imagine. Let's do a dance. Let's do a dance. So we're trying to find this temple to get a piece of the cool wizard technology. Because the characters in the Assassin's Creed universe love being able to do cool wizard shit. Lisbon, Portugal, November 1755. We made it to the place. Feast of All Saints. What a sight. And here I am, looking for a relic from the time before Adam and Eve. <laughs> Strange days indeed. That's a lot of golden stuff. Deus universi quia de tua largitate acepimus vinum, quo tibi offerimus 
Fructum vitis et operis manum hominum. Ex quo nobis fiet potus et spiritalis. Yep, time to climb. Do I remember how to get up there in the first place, though? Can I just climb up the sides and then I make my way across? Use eagle vision to help you unlock the temple. Okay, I will. Fine game. This reminds me of some of the buildings that you go through in, like, the Ezio games is what this reminds me of. Where the Ezio games had a lot more, like, indoor free-running routes and, like, puzzles with the parkour to actually progress. This is what this kind of reminds me of. In a way. Okay, so this away. Up we go. So... Triangle, triangle, triangle. What, is it the Triforce? What's going on here? Do I actually have to, like, be right next to each of... Oh, there are probably things I need to unlock each of them, which means I need to go all the way back there. Whoops. Whoops. Yeah, that's a thing. I gotta go back. <laughs> Oops. Yeah, stab it. Give it a good stab of stabbing. Nice. So we need four triangles. Wind unlocked. Okay, well, I'm going back. Going back, and then I'll get the one that's across from here, I guess. Hopefully nobody looks up and is like, what is that guy doing running up there? Hopefully nobody does that. What do you think you're doing running around in the rafters of my church? I don't think we'll have to worry about that, though. Wait, speaking of not having to worry about stuff, Earth Unlocked. Are we going to master the four elements? Um, just like Avatar Aang. That's, that's what we're going to do. Uh, anyway, I was about to say, I wonder if I can, like, sleep dart anybody down there. That'd be funny. I'm pretty sure it just w doesn't let you, though. Pretty sure you just stop aiming the moment you aim at a random civilian. Even if it's with something like a sleep dart, I think. Once we get grenades later, we'd be able to sleep grenade them, though. We don't have them yet, but, uh... Alright, fire unlocked. So now the last one's gonna be water. We we be out here mastering the four elements. Way faster than that Ang nerd that had to take like months to do it. That's what up there. We're doing it within a few minutes. Isn't that crazy? Secret tunnel. I recently saw a meme that's like, you can't hear images. And then it shows the image of like the people singing secret tunnel. And I'm like, yep, that sounds about right. <laughs> totally hear that uh are we are we gonna master the four elements to unlock a secret tunnel oh my goodness that's actually gonna be what's happening anyway <laughs> we're mastering the four elements to unlock a secret tunnel that's totally the plot of avatar totally what's going on there when it comes to the olympics that have been going on semi recently <laughs> did you hear that uh apparently the person that won olympic gold in windsurfing had a uh, had a hairdo like Avatar Aang, like he had it cut in a specific way, like an arrow, and then dyed it blue. Because he needed to like master the elements to be the master of windsurfing. <laughs> that was really cool. <laughs> Secret tunnel! The precursor site. Secret tunnel. Look at this, here we are. Look at that, Illuminati confirmed. What do we have here? What do we have here? Look at this place. The artifact. The artifact. It's a thing. It looks like one of those, uh... It looks like a mini ore from Pokemon. Kinda. What? I just got a Steam notification at that time. Who's sending me Steam messages right now? I was stunned for a second. I was like, I don't remember this artifact making that sound. Oh no, the power of the Steam notification is too great! <laughs> well, my computer has desktop audio registered by OBS, so uh, you just got to hear that. <laughs> That's not the sound the thing makes. Oh my good gracious, everything is going crazy here now. So I was mentioning before that Assassin's Creed likes to tell things with completely different causes, but the exact same outcomes. There was an earthquake in Lisbon in November 1755. A completely devastating earthquake that looked something like what we're seeing here which in reality would have been caused by the shifting of tectonic plates but in the world of Assassin's Creed was caused by Shay tampering with the uh, with the precursor site 
is a thing. So I find it very fascinating how Assassin's Creed will tell like completely different causes, but the same outcomes. So that's why this took place in Lisbon here, because the developers of this game are like, hmm, where's something where something like this happened? Oh, Lisbon, let's send Shay there. That's that's what our story is gonna be. And I think that's fascinating. Keep moving. What do you think I'm doing here, game? And this is actually like one of the coolest escape sequences in like any game I've played, I'm gonna be honest. Um, Carver didn't think it'd make a sound on stream. Is it you that sent that, you nerd? Send me Steam notifications as the world collapses around us. Something that I do think is as Creed games can nail is escape sequences. I feel like this is a freaking crazy escape sequence, baby. How are you doing today? Welcome to the world ending, by the way. I might have to turn down the game volume. I turned it up a little bit before thinking it was too quiet, but now I worry that it might be too loud. So, uh, welcome to the end of the world. Imagine actually, you know, having to go through this kind of thing. Like you would have to think that this was the end of the world or something like that. I'm doing pretty already, just trying to survive. Yeah, as long as they don't bug out. Oh, maybe this is my chance to, uh, Turn down the volume. A couple decibels to there. That's a bit better. Okay, off we go. Yeah, this is actually a very crazy sequence. Escape Lisbon. That's our new objective. We gotta get out of here. I gotta get out of here. Up we go. Part of me kind of wishes I was going into this game blind, so, you know, I didn't know what to expect. But it's not a it's not a first playthrough. I could pretend to be surprised. Be like, whoa, this is crazy. I mean it is crazy. It is absolutely crazy. We got a semi-cutscene here. Ow, I got tabled! Unbelievable. Okay, we gotta get back to our ship. Everything's burning, everything's collapsing. I am trying to keep moving forward. I'm trying my best. It was a very beautiful looking place they had here. But now it's all... All destroyed! Oh my goodness. Yeah, it is complete chaos. One of the things I feel like this game did really well was this escape sequence. This table turned the tables on you nose. Oh, how the turntables have turned. Okay, we're there. How could God do this to them? God had nothing to do with this. God had nothing to do with turning them into Lisbon.png.